about time and eternity. <laughs> <laughs> so if you uh, want to go to the toilet, this might last. <laughs> but anyway, now it's moving too fast. So should I edit? Uh, oh my God! It should not go yet there. So this is automatically changing. Probably I have to hurry. So could I get this? Uh, so I just so you have a crowd here. So could you please this is about, eh? speak up? You have a job. You have a lot of fans here, so if you could speak up. Yeah, I will speak up, uh, but I'm just worried that this has a timer, so it changes quickly. It's okay, well, now, just to the view, then. It's, well, now it's steady. Okay, I, I continue quickly. <laughs> uh, well, I have to read from the paper, otherwise uh, my, my speech will be very long. Okay, I take my breath, and then... <laughs> time, what is time? Time has no absolute universal meaning, it is uh, just a human experience. Our concept of time is based on the cycle of day and night, changing seasons and other constantly moving chains of events. Time can be felt and measured only by change. Art is said to be a mirror of time. In art we see reflections of various moments that have captured the artist. Art can also carry important messages or preserve historical events for future generations. Sense of time is connected to our language processing part of the brain. It is influenced especially by the way we produce writing. In the West, time usually proceeds in a straight line from left to right, like a text in a book. In Japan, time rotates in a cycle or in many simultaneous cycles. Now, this is rotating too fast. <laughs> okay. uh, it can be compared to Japanese writing, which flows in many directions, from up to down and from left to right. Nowadays, also horizontally from left to right. Free direction in writing and the ambiguity in verbal expression leads to a conclusion that time has a multi-layered character in Japan. The moment called now incorporates simultaneously, simultaneously the past and future. Time can also slow down or vanish completely, like in tea ceremony, or it can be highly pointed and accurate, like the arrival of a train, perfectly in time. There are also other cultural aspects to the matter. Uh, in Japan, years are counted and marked by uh, two ways, in Western standards and with Emperor's era. Moreover, the annual festivals add unique structure to Japanese general sense of time. Japanese people see themselves in, relation, uh, in relationship to others and to surrounding events. Things join together, nothing is separate from larger whole. In conversation, the consideration of others is preferred to self-expression and straight opinions. This worldview is visible in traditional bird-eye composition. Wait. Uh, <laughs> 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 robots are not friends with me. Um, things, uh, things are observed objectively from outsider's point of view. Uh, while being aware uh, of the many dimensions of, uh, in time, uh, we are able to concentrate in only one single moment at a time. Uh, th thus, the concept of time is connected deeply into counting. We count minutes, hours, days and years. Putting them into order gives us a structure of time. So, please <laughs> In his print, uh, Shape of Time, Yamanaka again shows three types of time. In the middle are the spotlight short moments. On the left, there is a darker, tight flow of time. <coughs> On the right, we see a sprout coming out from the flow. It can be uh, thought as a symbol of artist's uh, personal growth. <coughs> Age influences greatly to the sense of time. Fourteen years later, Yamanaka made another clip uh, with time as a motive. Here the moments in the middle look like small stars in the sky. The composition has changed from vertical to horizontal. <coughs> the flow and growth upwards, which we saw in his earlier print, has ended. 
that age, uh, the artist feels his world is expanding wider. The multi-layered concept of time is visible also in older Japanese prints. Here on the left we have Sadafusa's print implying the changing seasons in Edo. On the upper right corner we see uh, Komae, a small picture window, often used in ukiyo-e to add separate time and space dimension. In this Komae we have uh, cherry trees in spring. <coughs> Under them we uh, find red maple leaves symboling autumn. On the left side of the print, there is a branch of Nemo tree which blooms in the summer. We see Komae also in Ishihakute's print on the right. Here it shows the nighttime of modern age in uh, Tokyo. There is an electricity pole in the center and the houses are brightly lit. What remains unchanged in time is the beautiful woman in kimono. It was a common motif uh, to Aki ukiyo-e artists throughout the ages. Here we see one more print implying multi-layered time. Past and present is included in Yamaguchi uh, Akira's print of Tokyo Nihonbashi. The bridge is depicted as it was in three different periods of time. The upper bridge is the one we see in famous Hiroshige's Tokaido print series. The lowest bridge is the stone bridge from, uh, from the beginning of 20th century. And in the middle, we find the contemporary highway crossing the area. Japanese time is not only multi-layered, it also goes around in endless cycle. The time, life and death belong to the same continuance. There is also a certain melancholy in Japanese sense of time. Things happen. Life is a dream-like illusion. Jinsei wa bonjou de ari. Sense of cyclic time is based on the ever-rotating four seasons. In Japanese art and culture, especially spring and autumn, are the most loved and most often visualized times of the year. In ukiyo prints, you can find signs of seasons hidden in kimono patterns along with uh, changing fashions. Another important visual element is the moon and its various shapes. Here we have Hiroshige's print of Shinano, which is a famous place for viewing the full moon. If you look carefully, you can find how the moon multiplies on the surface of the water in rice paddies. We find a moon repeating itself also in Hasekawa Yuichi's print uh, titled The Passage of Time. Although the composition is not a circle, we can feel the cycle of time in the rising shapes of the full moon. Along with the monthly moon cycle, we experience time in repetition of light and darkness. In other words, the repetition of day and night. Here, printmaker Akimana has visualized a cycle of days in black lines. The small white scratches on the background give interesting vibrancy to the monochrome image. Things happen. Uh, everything is connected. In Japan, from 14th century until Meiji period, one day was divided in 12 two-hour sections. These hours were called koku. They were named according to the 12 zodiac animals in Chinese uh, astrology. Utamaro Seiro Junitoki is a print series showing, uh, let's go back once more, showing uh, the life in geisha quarters around the 12 Koku hour clock. Here we see the dragon's hour in the morning when the women get to rest after the long night's work. The time element is stressed cleverly in the title strip on the right. It is designed to a shape of a pendulum clock. Contemporary International Tokyo Time started in Japan 1877. This gave inspiration to Ukiyo artist Toyohara Kunichika who made a series of women's life in modern cities. This print shows a midnight scene at 1 a.m. Koma e on the left corner is shaped as a pocket watch. Uh, in it, oh, in it, <laughs> there is a kabuki brochure. It reveals where the woman was earlier in the evening. 
There is also a western tall case uh, clock in the picture, which points out the wealth of the house. Days and months have to be put in good order to form a well-functioning society. For this, a variety of calendars were created in Japan. They were based on the cycle of the moon until the beginning of the 19th century. Calendars in Edo period were not as accurate as the calendars of today. They usually showed only how the long, uh, how the long and short months were arranged in each. Calendars usually have symbols of good luck and fortune in them. The calendar part is the black part there. You can see uh, on the right there is the, the long months, and on the left there are the short ones. Calendar bricks were in key role in a development of Mokuhanga technique. The very first Nishiki e print is known to be a calendar by Suzuki Harunoku. He designed it in 1765 for, for a wealthy poem, poet, Okubo Kyosen. Privately commissioned Egoyomi calendars were playfully designed uh, as picture puzzles. Here we see how the order of long and short months of the year are shown as big and small sake cups flying from the hand of Daigoku, one of the seven uh, cards, seven lucky cards. Uh, some calendar prints carry personal advice and divinations for people. In human life there are good times and bad times and predicting them helps a lot. This uke e <laughs> yes. wood. Uh, this uke e woodblock print shows the year uh, shows the years when a person moves to a favorable uke period in his or her life. The picture is designed to be a lucky <coughs> charm. It has objects and characters that begin with a syllable fu, indicating the word fuku meaning happiness. These periods go uh, in a cycle of five and seven years. So there are five, after five bad years come seven happy years. So luckily we have longer than, longer luck than. <coughs> okay, now we go to um, eternity. Uh, time is relatively easy thing to visualize in comparison to attempt to give form to eternity. We can try to stop the movement of time with a dot located in the center of square uh, or trial and symmetrical composition also transmit a sense of immovability. Hmm. And therefore they are often used as base of for religious art. Mandana carries these basic visual elements of timelessness. When meditating in front of mandala, you find some uh, eternal dimension in your mind. <laughs> Japan is a country with unstable natural environment. Earthquakes, uh, tsunami, typhoon, and uh, heavy rain, landslides, not to mention the active volcanoes, they all have affected on the minds of people. Life is uncertain. It can vanish in a blink of an eye. In such an environment, permanence is a relative concept. Mundane world is, a constant, is in constant change. Eternity belongs to the realms of gods and to the afterwards. In the midst of impermanency, there is one thing that feels flawless and steady. It is the Fuji Mountain. Seeing Fuji Mountain uh, relaxes Japanese people. You can see it often on the walls of public bathhouses. The triangle shape of the mountain is easily recognizable, as you see in this simple print by Nakata. Uh, the steadiness of the sacred mountain gives firm contrast to variable weather conditions around it. Fuji Mountain has been an inspiration to many printmakers in Japan throughout the ages. In Watanabe's print, Fuji has a shining aura around it, making the mountain naturally <coughs> self-luminous. <coughs> in a uh, famous Hokusai print, uh, the sea represents the ever-changing world around us. The shape of Fuji in the horizon gives permanency to it. It is a sacred place we can always rely on. <coughs> Hokusai's print be becomes alive in a new form in Kawachi Seiko's print. 
here the Fuji mountain is inserted uh, in a small picture window in the background. <coughs> Crossing over a bridge has a certain poetical meaning for Japanese people. Bridge is symmetrical, like life and death at extreme ends. On bridge you are between places in an intermediate space and time called Ma. It is a place where ghosts and gods may appear. <coughs> in old ukiyo-e or about bridges, uh, we often see fireworks <coughs> on the sky. They symbolize the shortness and beauty of life. <coughs> Fireworks also bring in mind the Obon time in August, when the deceased relatives come to visit the living. This annual meeting with the dead creates a time cycle and makes a bridge from this world to the afterworld. In religious ceremonies and in prayers, repetition is a key element. Repeating is a meditative act which purifies the mind and gives permanence to the object being repeated. This idea works well also with non-religious printmaking. For example, re-carving and reprinting the ukiyo-e masterpieces <coughs> is appreciated as an act of keeping the valued Mokuhanga craftsmanship alive for centuries. In, in Japan, uh, the first large-scale uh, commission for religious prints is Yakubando Darani which was completed in year 770. One million small wooden pagodas were carved and a slip of Buddhist sutra print was inserted in each of them. Stamping was the early method of copying religious figures. Uh, the images were stamped one by one in prayer books and diaries. Later in 14th century, stamping was replaced by printing from carved wood blocks which enabled to produce many Buddha figures on paper with just one rubbing. The history of Japanese woodblock prints starts with religious prints. Small size figured prints were popular as protective, pro, protective, not protective amulets. The printing blocks, oops, too fast. <laughs> trying to keep up with the <laughs> conference now. Okay, the printing blocks for the amulets were all often old and badly worn out, so the lines in the print were shabby. That did not bother the pilgrims as long as the image was somehow recognizable. In early days uh, of Buddhism, Buddha was never shown in human figure. His presence was expressed by painting or carving only his wood footprints. In Yamada Kyoharu's print, we see Buseki, Buddha's stone footprints, on which flowers of Shala have fallen. Shala flower opens in the morning and falls on the ground in the evening. It is a symbol of impermanence and rapid passing of glory and life. Uh, okay. <laughs> Along with Buddhist pantheon, there is a myriad of Shinto gods and goddesses in Japan. They prevail uh, everywhere in nature, in trees, mountains, rivers, and stones. Gods reside also in changing elements like fire, rain, and storm. <coughs> Here we see the thunder god by Shiominana. The appearance of the god follows the traditional way of depicting him, but the space where he flies is an empty room space, a trademark of Shiomi. There is also a great variety of spirits, ghosts, and demons in Japan. Printmaker uh, Ishita Yoshikazu is especially fond of Oni demons. Here is uh, one example of his series of Oni faces. As you can see there, there are many Oni uh, figures inside the face, so uh, in the time is uh, multi-layered. <coughs> Uh, death is a mystery that keeps fascinating people. There is an interesting woodblock print genre in Japan called Shinie Memorial Death Prints. They were produced for sale uh, when a famous person died. In this print we see actor Ichikawa Danjuro 8 uh, reflected in a mirror. In front of him is another deceased actor holding Danjuro's kaimyo, new name to be used in the afterworld. 
after world. What happens when a person dies? It is widely believed that human being has an eternal soul that separates from the body in death. In Japan, the shape of the soul is thought to be a shining light bulb or a burning flame. In Fujimori Shizuo's print, the death squeezes the peacefully floating man with black hands. The round shining shape behind him seems to be his departed soul. The raised hand signifies a silent uh, surrender. In this large print by Kawabata Chie, we see a tree, symbol of life and growth. It is surrounded with flying light balls. They are the souls of people returning to the earth from the afterworld. The cycle of time and energy is eternal. Thank you for your time. <laughs>
four across the road, one only, and when the time is burnt down, so the time is up. And uh, there are many interesting clocks also, how to measure time. But my interest was how to visualize it, so how people take it, uh, how artists uh, deal with the problem, how they show. And the uh, changing of seasons is really the really, really important element in all Japanese art and culture, so uh, that is uh, showing their sensibility towards <coughs> nature also. And I'm interested in this now moment, which is having past and future at the same time. So it's not here and there, so it's here. <coughs> so <laughs> it's hard to uh, understand. Hard to be hard to be, and you have to become empty to get that. So it becomes uh, somehow you have to take everything away from your mind, and then you catch the past, the present, and the uh, future at the same moment. Thank mm -hmm. you.